Hey guys, welcome to the my talk. In this uh, video, I am going to discuss about uh, the Gradio. And before going to start the Gradio, we have other uh, web application frameworks, uh, especially when you are going to use for the machine learning models. So mostly we use the Flask and Dash and also in Streamlit. But also we are going to discuss here the Gradio in this video. And Flask is mainly for web interfaces, Dash is for the dashboards and Streamlit is for the again dashboards and the Gradio which is for the machine learning model demos. Even if you go to the Cisco company used to, they generally go for the, the Gradio to show the demos on the machine learning models. The flexibility is good and maturity is a C grade and simplicity very simple this one. But the problem is that the community which is very small and uh, and mostly we generally write at this at this stage we are using for the demos for the machine learning models okay so let's deep dive into the um, their official website we'll get some idea if you can see uh, actually their official website the basically we can use this uh, the gradio for interfaces for your machine learning models and also there is some little demo code is given here and uh, for example you see that there is a digit uh, classifier okay for example, if I if I am going to say like four and chances it is a four classification, like uh, something like this. If I am going to give here is a six and it is um, of course it's predicting nine, so that is not the correct way. So let me give the sixty seven here and still it's giving the nine only, right? If I want to go and give this one is the four and four is predicting. If I want to give here is the three. 3 prediction is correct but yeah somehow the prediction rate is okay so basically like digit classifier and also like uh, this is a paragraph and for example there is a question there is you can submit the question and you will see the answer in shortly it's 1975 right so you're already seeing that 1975 here right this is like uh, reading the paragraph asking the question getting that and also we can use the face uh, segmentation with a webcam and all and also we can do with uh, something like outbreak forest like uh, if you want to specify the um, the like month for example i am giving here april and you can give the canada and social distancing is submitting and you see that graph is getting generated here so this is all like user interface we can easily do it and uh, there is a very interesting thing is that uh, we have the documentation for installation is very simple i will show you the installation how to do it in shortly but the command is pip install gradio and you can use this command uh, default port number is 7860 to run the application so i will show you this one in shortly and coming to the point here we can also host this gradio applications right um, so very easy to in, uh, host these applications but what we can see that uh, the Gradio introduces something called private and like uh, what is a private like uh, if you want to host uh, this Gradio into their uh, hosting servers uh, we have uh, here there is $100 per month to $50 per month depend, different, different packages are there okay so coming to the documentation point so the documentation which is very clear and uh, the input components output components how we want to visualize the data right so generally this is very, very nice documentation self-explanatory so no need of uh, any uh, any other uh, references to follow the documentation itself is very good to do it okay and also we have the help if you have any issues we can contact the team and there is a blog and there is a hub so a lot of things are there okay the hub is mainly talks about uh, different uh, uh, state of the art machine learning models like different white papers are there including the code and interface now all the components are installed the gradio is installed successfully i have copied some code from the documentation the import gradio as here and we are actually calling the interface and in that interface we are given the input text and output text and i am going to run this code okay 
and uh, so obviously flagged uh, folder will be created uh, it little may take uh, some time so we'll wait for that so once it is uh, done so we will get the some url here to check whether application is working or not i'm just entered here and you can add the name right so if i go and click the submit raja and also you can give any text here okay so python developer right so see this entire user interface you are not developer you are using the gradio to see this and you can also take the screenshot if i go and click the screenshot these are screenshots can be taken here right as simple as so what i can say that uh, the lot of uh, uh, input components outcome output components are there as we are now seeing this text uh, related one so if you can go to the uh, uh, sorry in the gradius documentation there is a many input components output components are there so we can use all these things we can have audio drop down radio checkbox groups all these things instead of uh, see generally it will take a lot of time to implement it right when you use the uh, flask or Django, but this can be easily done with this already built one built-in functions are there